In the previous video we saw videos, we saw some theorems about uh, spaces and vector spaces and in this video we are going to see um, a important theorem about homogeneous systems. Okay, so we have here a um, homogeneous system of linear equations with uh, n unknowns. So the unknowns will be this x1, x2, xn, so with n unknowns over a field k. So the scalars a11, a12, they will be taken from this field. Okay? So um, linear equations, because all the, the equations are linear, uh, all the equations are equal to zero, so we have a homogeneous system, n unknowns, x1 till xn, n unknowns, okay, and here we have the coefficients or the scalars, uh, the scalars uh, taken from the field k. Okay, so we have a11x1 plus a12x2, etc plus a1 n x n equals 0 then a21 so this is a different scalar right or a different coefficient a21 x1 the same variable uh, a22 x2 etc plus a2 n x n equals 0 then we will have a2 a31 right x1 etc and at the end we will have am1x1, am2x2, etc., plus amn times xn equal 0. So we have a homogeneous system of linear equations and unknowns over this field. Okay, so the theorem is going to say uh, let us call w the the set of solutions of this system okay so if we pick uh, so here will be vectors u v w so the vectors that are solution to this system so if i put these vectors here i will always get zero here okay so if w is the set of solutions for this system then w um, is a subspace of vector space k, this k, k to the power of n. So k, this field, to the power of the number of unknowns. OK. Uh, let me provide a quick proof here. OK. Well. If I pick a matrix A and I put the entries here A11, A12 till A1n, right? I can pick this uh, matrix here AM1 and here AMN, so there will be lots of elements here. A. So this system, at the end of the day, this is the same as A. And then if I call x the matrix where I put x1, put x1, x2, xn, right? So I can write ax equal 0, right? 0 vector, okay? So this system is equivalent to this um, matrix equation, okay? I'm going, I, I need some space, so I'm... I'm going to jump here. So the system is the same as AX equal 0, right? So the system is equivalent to the matrix equation, okay? But, um, so, but point number, number 1, A times vector 0 will be 0, right? Will be vector 0. Okay, so this means that 0 is in W. OK. 2. Uh, let us pick vectors u and v in W. OK. Uh, 
So this means that u and v, we are picking vectors from the solutions, okay? So u and v are solutions to the linear system. Okay, if u and v are solutions, so a times u will be zero, since u is a solution, and a times v is zero, since v is also a solution. Okay, so now if we pick scalars a and b in the field, we have a times um, so I pick a vector solution, a vector that is a solution to the system, and I multiply it by A, a scalar from the field. And I pick vector V, a solution from the system, and I multiply it by B. Okay, so what is A times AU? So this is the matrix, okay? That will be, okay, let me write in, in well, I, I can I can exchange this, right? So that will be a. Okay, I'm going to do baby steps. Okay. So, but here I can write a times u plus b a v, right? So what is a u? Well. A times u is zero, so this one is zero. And what is a times v? A times v is zero, so this one is zero, right? So what we have here is zero time a times zero plus b times zero, right? So this will be zero. So this means that a u plus bv is a solution to the system. So that means that a u plus bv are in w. Okay, so w is a subspace of k to the power of m. And that concludes the proof. Of course, I'm still using the same corollary to prove subspaces. Okay, please check the previous video for that. Well, one question we could ask is, now that we proved that for a homogeneous system of linear equations with n unknowns over a field k, that the set of solutions to this homogeneous system is a subspace of k to the power of n. Uh, we could ask the question for uh, what about a non-homogeneous? Is that the same for a non-homogeneous system of linear equations? Well, to be quite honest, this is not true for a non-homogeneous system. And it's very easy to see, because if you have a non-homogeneous system, when you multiply a, the matrix of the coefficients, by x, the matrix of the, the unknowns, you're not getting zero, you're getting b, right? Because the system is uh, not homogeneous, okay? Um, so, here I'm presuming that b is not zero, because if b is zero, this will be homogeneous, okay? So if b is not zero, then when you multiply a times zero, you're not going to get b, because b is not zero, okay? And if this is true, this means that zero is not a 
solution of the system here of AX equal B. So the, the set of solutions is not a subspace.